Record. So we now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. Mm. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Thank you, Lord, for gathering us together in this beautiful weekend. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the blessings, for the graces we have received. Thank you for the inspiration to continue the mission you have entrusted to us, not only to pray together, but to build a community, families according to your plan. We entrust you everything, O oh Lord, and keep us in your grace. May all of us become pleasing to you. As we come together, we entrust you our families, our loved ones, wherever they are. Keep them safe always in your love. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay everyone according to his conduct. Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, to Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The Lord be with you. Good morning and good evening. Good, good, good morning, morning. Father. Good morning. The Lord be with you. Too. From the challenge of the Lord in our discipleship to profess that is Jesus the Christ, the Son of the Father, comes now the beautiful challenge of the Lord in terms of our discipleship as well. We would like truly to profess Him as our Christ and King. But I would like to go to the middle of the gospel, and there are two touching sentences there. It says, what profit a man would have even if he gains the whole world and loses his life in return? And secondly, for the life that we have, what exchange can we give? In short, we are reminded or beautifully being given the life that we have. And truly as such, only the Lord is the giver of life. And to the life alone, what can we exchange as a gratitude to the Lord? Perhaps even the best acts of goodness that we have could not be an exchange. Even anything, perhaps, nothing can exchange the gift of life. And so even if we have the whole world, if at the end we lose our soul, we are not in the kingdom of God, then everything is not in accord or everything is a waste or everything would simply be useless. That's why today the Lord invites us as his disciples to follow him, to profess that he is the Christ, the son of the living God. There are two things that he wanted from us. One is to carry our cross. Do you have your crosses? All of us, we have our crosses. It could be a small cross. It could be a bigger one. Yes, crosses come in different sizes, in different forms, in different weights. But each one of us has its own cross. It could be a cross of relationship. It could be a cross of pain, of infidelity. It could be a cross of hurts, of sickness, of suffering, of grief or death. So many crosses, but it could be a cross of our sinfulness, of our own weaknesses, from our pride and everything. And so when the Lord carries the cross, he carries the weight of the sinfulness of humanity. He carries the weight of my sinfulness, of your sinfulness, of our sinfulness. But he carries it with willingness heart. It's even today's first Friday. With compassion in obedience to the will of the Father. Because he wanted us to be back to the Father. So the cross is an important or very important factor in our life. After all, it's on the cross that Jesus died where he gave his life. 
You see, for the life that he has given us, he still gave his life. And practically, we can say we have double life, our individual life and the life that the Lord has given us in order that we might have life and we may have life to the full. So he invites us, if you want truly to become disciples, if we want to have an exchange of the life that he has given us, if we want a meaningful life beyond whatever we have in this world, is to carry the cross. Not to forget, because the cross is the redeeming cross of the Lord. And it's the cross that there is the Lord. Otherwise, when we do not put the Lord in our crosses, we will simply stumble. We will simply wallow in our pains and difficulties in complaining, but not grateful for what he has given us. Secondly, he wanted us to deny ourselves. Take note of the word, must deny yourself. So it's an obligation to let go of things that are inimical of the will of God. After all, we pray in our Father, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Denying oneself is even at times sacrificing. Denying ourselves is at times letting go of other things that are inimical to the gospel values. Even at times relationships that are not in conscience with God because our priority is the Lord. Denying could be as well our penance. So the denial of oneself comes in many forms. But the real denial is none other than when we let go of our sinfulness amidst the lures of material world, amidst the lures of the world, the joys, its enjoyment and everything. Because when things are not in accord with the will of God and we do it, then we do not deny ourselves, but rather we give in to what we would like, to the cravings of our heart. So tonight, the Lord is inviting us. Truly, there is room for discipleship. Through this room for following him. For the life that he has given us is so precious. But the life that he had shed for us is still most precious because he is God, the son of the father. And he denied himself of everything, stripped of even of himself as the son of God in order to become man in the incarnation, in order to taste who we are, except for sinfulness and to deny ourselves especially of our sinfulness then it's our own way of saying lord our gratitude for the life we could not ask for something more but in exchange for the life that you have given us we deny ourselves for your greatest glory and therefore what we have in the world who we are in the world should lead us to discover the kingdom of god and should make us all faithful disciples of the lord Today, August 5, we commemorate as well, or the optional, the memorial of the consecration or dedication of the Basilica of St. Mary Maggiore in Rome, one of the four major basilicas. But what is important in this place, there is the image of the Blessed Mother who is called the health of all people. It's the place where Pope Francis would always come before he goes for mission and the place where he comes back in order to, thanks, to thank the Blessed Mother after the successful mission or pilgrimage that he would have. Let us entrust ourselves, our families, to marry the health of all people. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord, for the life. Thank, thank you, Lord, for, Lord the for the lives. Too wonderful indeed, O oh Lord. Too wonderful, Too wonderful indeed, indeed, O oh Lord. That we could not take chains of it for anything. Or repay you for the life that you have given us. Or repay you for the life that you have given us. Because truly it is too precious. Because truly it is too precious. But thank you still, O Lord. Thank you still, O Lord. For giving your life to us. For giving your life to us. to us, for dying for us, for dying for us, we receive another life. We receive another life because of your mercy and goodness. Because of, because of your mercy and goodness, we would like to be true. We would like to be true to your challenge for us. To your challenge for us. To take up our cross, to take, take up, up our take cross, cross without complaining, without without complaining, complaining but with serenity and peace. 
but, but with serenity and peace. We deny ourselves willingly. We deny, we deny ourselves willingly. It means to sacrifice. It is means to sacrifice. Give us, O Lord, the grace. Give us, O Lord, the grace. That every day we will be faithful disciples. That every day we will be faithful disciples. And profess you. And profess you. As the Christ, the Son of the living God. As the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saints Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel, pray for us, angel of God. My guardian, dear, dear, be dear, God, dear, God's love, God's love me. meets you here. Every day, this day, 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 and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us oh, all and God. our families, yeah. the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Good evening very all much, Father. Good morning. Father. Wow. Good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Hi, Tita Bell. Thank you very much for the homily, Father. It's very nice. <laughs> <enough. laughs> as always. So, as always. Very, very nice. It's, it's very nice. Welcome, Tita. Um, uh, Talagang very nice. Ah? The different the kinds of sufferings in their church. Uh, yes. So, different. Sige lang. We, we have different all process. our crosses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ang dami. <laughs> Small or big. <laughs> Heavy or not. Mahila. Ang, alam mo, Tita Bell, ang, ang connection mo. Very slow motion ah. ka. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sige lang. Or at least nakikita si Tabel. <laughs> at least naka, at, at least naka ano siya, nakakatch up. Oh. Yes. Uh. Oh, nice. We are eight, ha? Huh? Oh. We are eight. We are nine. Very Good nice. Uh. <laughs> Very nice. Uh. We started only kami lang dalawa. <laughs> wala si to Benji ayun wala si to Benji <laughs> missing in action <laughs> kahabol yes po Tita Bell so nice nakahabol kayo please unmute Very yourself Naka... maingay ang aso kaop si Tita Bell sige lang Part ng background, Tita. <laughs> yes. Lagyan mo ng time. Quiet. Lagyan mo ng time. Quiet. <laughs> so, lagyan mo, Tita. No disturbance. We are on prayer. <laughs> We are in the upper room. <laughs> But you know, my, 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 my three-year-old apo, the girl, mm -hmm. who's to be Music. Has very, yes. has a very, I don't know, childish, but I think it's an effective point of view because whenever, whenever she wants us to do something and we say, oh, that's not true. And she said, she says, Lola, just pretend, pretend, pretend it's not <laughs> noisy. So that's what we do, pretend it's not noisy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you see? Three-year-old tita, that child. Three-year-old. It's not child. It's, like it's not childish. <laughs> Lola, very just true, pretend. <laughs> you see, three-year-old, no? She knows <laughs> to say to pretend. Eh, kasi gusto nga may kalaro sa tinda-tinda. So nice, no? Yes. Very nice. 
We I know we checked the resort of one of our I mean friend practically who has a resort near our place. So sa mga father tinanong niya yung another place namin sa Sambales. Medyo long journey lang, <laughs> but it's okay. Ah, oh. Oh. Thank you, <laughs> Father. No, maski na you're not home, <laughs> may time oh, ka sa kas kaya ka sa alik ka lang. <laughs> this this is our ano. This is our commitment and this is our covenant. Thank you. How lucky you. we are. How blessed we are oh, to no, have I, you. I'm more blessed. <laughs> blessed to have you all and to pray with you. Sabi ko nga hindi hindi usual. How many hours, Father? Party with it took us ano tita kasi may stopover parang six hours pero party pwede namang four hours lang. Wow, it's a long trip. Yeah, medyo pero it's ano it's a good trip. Uh, Kami father din for hours. <laughs> saan? <laughs> Galing kayo sa natita. Ano kami father, andito kami sa Golden Sands. The ah, wow. Bantayan. Very far also Four hours. Ah, galing ah. Oh. Pero nakauwi kayo kaagad o you're going home pa lang? You're still there? I think she's still there. Hindi Until ma- lang kay tita. Andiyan siya. Oh, hindi maganda ang ang connection mo. Signal tita. lang. Oh. Ang signal mo. Oh, oh. Until when po kayo dyan tita? Ay, na-freeze. No. Oh, na-freeze. Wala na si tita yeah. pero. Uh, na freeze na siya. So, Madilim lang, hindi ko mapakita yung buong view. Very no, nice, we nice. just arrived, Father. Ah, in Cebu? Or in that place? In a picture, Guru. Ang connection. Ang <laughs> connection. Wow. My wow. interference. Wow. Worth 10 na, worth 10. Wow, galing. Uh, hi, Tita Father. <laughs> Good evening, Tita. Your place. <laughs> Our place is also nice. Oh, the, very nice. <laughs> very good, very good. Uh, kahit nasaan ka makapray ka, just like Father Danny, oh, he's no. not home, he's in some balis. <laughs> of course. Tapos Tita, tita I, Bell, somewhere. I'll show you the, the room that they have. It's a court. This is Boracay room. So ah. that's the place. <laughs> it's a big ah. one. Wow. Tapos yung, yung sub-veranda niya, it's towards the sea na po. Swimming pool sa baba and the sea. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a coastal nice place. Coastal ang nice Sambales, place. no? Coastal. Opo, coastal. Where po are you, tita. father? Sambales po, tita. Sambales. Ah, Sambales. Yeah. Oh. Opo. Mm-hmm. Wow. Ano lang, nag R and R before <laughs> the checking the place lang before the classes start on August 22. Ano yan, Father? Um, school? Uh, Hindi po. Very Parang big. Rest house. Uh, Opo, very rest big ha? for room. Opo. Oo, oh, oh, very nice ang room, no? Opo, nice yung room. Mm-hmm. Parang five-star hotel. Malaki siya for family, good for six. Mm-hmm. Ah, Good for wow. six young room. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Bucket list. Sambal is dita when you come to Cebu, Tagaytay. Wow. Sambal is. That's Philippine route natin when you come. Ay, naku, looking forward. <laughs> kahit, na, kahit na hindi na ako lalabas sa, sa, ano, sa mga Japan na yan, sa mga ano, dyan na sa Philippines, ang dami ko yes. nang namiss. Ang Philippines dami ko nang namiss. Uh-oh. Very true. Palawan, I haven't been places. there. Oh, my it's, mother, a it's a beautiful place. It's a beautiful mother, place. My mother is, uh, is from, ano, my mother is from Aklan, pero I haven't been to Boracay. 
Really? Oh, no. And 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 my uncle ako diyan and first kasi na yun ang few miles away sa Katiklan. Uh -huh. uh, but I haven't uh -huh. been there. Uh -huh. Sige na. There would be there would be time for that. Sabi There's naman ni Lord, always time, time for everything. Yes, looking forward for that and praying for that. <laughs> yes. Talaga we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> thank you, you Father. Yes. See you. you bye -bye. Uh, take care, Father. Bye -bye. Have you safe. Be know. safe. Uh -uh. Oh. Okay, I want to share this reflection from Marino das Marinas for today's gospel about sufferings. So it says here, what is a meaningful and well-lived life? It's a life lived for the greater glory of God not life lived for our own earthly glory. Many of us commit the mistake of living our life for the sake of this world only. For example, we chase everything that this world offers us, but when we have it already, we still wonder why we are still not happy. Or worse, the worst is, we end up empty and alone even if we have everything and in this world could offer us. Why is this so? This is for the reason that we decide this world. What is in this world that many of us are so enslaved by it? Ano ba yan ang mga worldly possessions na yan? The more we have, the more we don't have. Wala, walang satisfaction. If, if we choose uh, worldly material possessions. All that we have in this world are temporary. Even as we presently dwell in this world are also temporary. Passers-by, we are just passers-by in this world. God created us not for this world, but for his eternal home in heaven. Yet many of us still don't get this. That's why we amass wealth beyond our simple needs. Nagiging greedy tayo, materially greedy. Many of us would even sell our very selves to the devil so that we can have massive wealth. Literal ito, literal na selling yourself to the devil. In our gospel for today, Jesus clearly states that we can only discover the true meaning of life once we have our life for him. We can never find the true meaning of our lives if we have if we live it inside the wealth, power, and glamour of this world. There's no satisfaction. There's no real happiness. Basta ang ginag desire mo is world, material world versus um, a spiritual world. Amen. 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 Beautiful. Uh, may we hear the, you know, the, the Harukat mm -hmm. Meral? Dalawa ang pwede natin makuhan sa, sa, in today's gospel, no? Today's gospel, dalawa. Suffering and the uh, material, material and versus uh, material things. Spiritual versus worldly. So suffering is a Tita Cora is a, has prepared for us this, about the reflections on sufferings. Oh, Grace, please go ahead. Okay. Haro Cathedral, know the relevance of the cross you carry its day of your life. It is where you grow. You might have been through a lot of struggles in life and the hurts were sometimes excruciating that you even wish you weren't born as if you feel that there is no way out and you tend to surrender as life has become futile. You can never out of this mess unless you accept this as a reality. Never let the problems overrule your life as these are solved but not criticized. Convince yourself to believe that there is still someone to run to. Live in the thought that God sees everything that is happening to you and he can always find a way, even if you deem everything impossible. Succumb not to your frailty, but to humble yourself before his presence to give you strength to overcome all your apprehension and fears. Know that God never allows a cross that you can carry. 
it's only a matter of your decision to lift it up and be aware that he carries all along with you. The cross is not history, but a part of your daily journey. Correct. Ito, ito. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Grace. Um, please go ahead, Tita Cor. Okay. Um, these are my uh, realizations, okay? And um, the first one is from, uh, I got this from, I don't know, these things come to my, to my box, my mailbox, okay? From Cultivating Virtue, Self-Mastery with the Saints, the Blessed Angela di Foligno, she's an Italian mystic around 1285, when asked how she was able to receive and endure sufferings with so much cheerfulness said, believe me, the grandeur and value of sufferings are not known to us. For if we knew the worth of our trials, they would become for us objects of plunder. And we will go about trying to snatch from one another opportunities to suffer. And this, this really struck me. So I started digging and then I came across the homily of Father Pedro Iglesias Martinez from Ruby, Barcelona, Spain. And this is on his homily on today's gospel, okay? And I paraphrased part of his homily where he said that our attitude towards suffering should not be such that we say words like, we have to accept the sufferings God sends or this is God's will, or other words to that effect. He said, this is because this attitude, na sasabihin natin, we should accept God's uh, wills or the sufferings that God sends to us. He says that this attitude predisposes us to the belief <clears throat> that sufferings, just like what Blessed Angela de Foligno said, are like trophies that we hope to show at heaven's gate when we die. Hala, ipon tayo ng ipon ng sufferings. Pati sufferings ng iba, gawin natin para marami tayong maipresenta sa pintuan ng langit when we die. According to Father uh, Pedro Martinez, that kind of suffering is of little value. He said that before loading up our crosses, we should first follow Jesus. It is not a matter of suffering first, then following Jesus. Hindi. Follow Jesus first, then you suffer. Don't suffer, don't suffer and then decide to follow Jesus. So it means that first, we should have the desire to follow Jesus out of love for him. And because of that love, we can understand the sacrifice, the crosses of denying ourselves or self-denial or mortification. My personal important realization is this. Love and mercy may lead us to sacrifice because true love always engenders some sort of sacrifice, great or small, a few times or always. Diba? If you love somebody, some sort of sacrifice naturally follows. But the opposite does not hold because sacrifice does not always come from love. So love is always followed by sacrifice or making your own choices secondary to the choices of our loved ones, di ba? Pero ang sacrificio does not always come from love. Ginagawa natin out of duty, which is a different thing. Okay. Or we sacrifice para pakitang tao. It's not out of love. Therefore, the, the Father Martinez emphasizes that God is not sacrifice, but rather 
God is love. Okay? We should not think that God requires us to sacrifice. God requires us to love. Only from this perspective can our sufferings and pains and the crosses have any meaning. Okay, from um, have any meaning and value and in eternity. Then the priest quoted Saint Augustine saying, when one loves, one does not suffer. But if one does suffer, kung hindi maiwasang mag-suffer, the very suffering is loved. Okay? Minamahal natin pati ating pag-suffer kung we love somebody. So, we are advised not to look for a divine origin to explain our sufferings and shortcomings and crosses instead of asking, why is God sending this to me? That means we are trying to understand God's motives and we should not do that. Instead, we should find a divine usage or ang tanong natin dapat, how can I transform this suffering into an act of faith and love? Or, ibig sabihin, we should seek to follow Christ's example of how to love. Amen. 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 Beautiful, Tita Cora. And then there's another one, okay. In addition to that, St. Angela de Foligno, yung kanina nagsasabing mag-aagawan tayo ng sufferings, just to get to heaven, okay, said, no one can be saved without divine light. Divine light causes us to begin and make progress, and it leads us to the summit of perfection. Therefore, if you want to begin and receive this divine light, pray. If you have begun to make progress, pray. And if you have reached the summit of perfection and want to be super illumined so as to remain in that state, pray. Meaning, pray always. I think this is proof that angels and saints still pray. Nasa langit na sila, nasa gloria na sila, they still pray. Maybe not in supplicatory prayers for themselves, hindi na sila humihingi nang maskin ano para sa sarili nila but prayers of adoration worship praise and thanksgiving sa mahal na Diyos ang kanilang pinipray always amen 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 that's my sharing for today thank you Very so lovely. much Tita Cor beautiful Any more reflections? Money. Good money. Tita Linda. Tita Lynn. Uh, Sister Beck, the three pointers today is about uh, it's about St. Luke's because today is also the, mm -hmm. the dedication of Mary Major mm -hmm. and their and their ano for today their gospel is Luke 11 27 to 28 it's, it's okay so would you like to hear the three pointers yes, yes. Sita Linda please number, okay. number one in today's gospel Luke highlights through the importance of hearing the word of God and keeping it. Number two, it is good to learn more about Jesus through reading, studying, and praying the word of God, and more importantly, living out its truth in our lives. 
Number three, ponder on the life of Mary and ask her in your prayers to help you to learn and live the Father's will more perfectly as she did during her life. Amen. 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 Thank you, Italian. Thank you so much, Italian. Thank you, Mom Linda. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Closing prayer. Tito Mani, baka merong nugget. Tito Mani. Tito Mani. Sabi mo na. Ang okay. sasabihin ko, sinabi mo na. Kaya pala ang bigat-bigat ng dalato kapit na. Gets mo, pinagot mo eh. <laughs> Doble pala. Including Doble. ito manis. <laughs> One of these days, lilipat ko sa iyo. Okay. <laughs> Ma maganda pakinggan eh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Truly appreciate it. Talaga. Truly, Tita Cor. Hindi naman hindi naman sa akin yun. I just you know I sa mga threads ko bala sa mga groups na wakasali ko. Dumadating yung mga ganon yung mga short na mga short na food for thought. And then siguro because of my training na I've been teaching and I've been doing research. So pag something catches my attention, I I dig a little deeper. So expound mo. Kaya kaya na si share ko sa inyo in the in this manner. Kasi siguro, yeah. at my very, very heart of hearts, I'm a teacher. So, yeah. <laughs> that's, really? That's why, that's why, that's why I always... Your like, expertise. Yes. Mm. Yes, mm. I think. And, also, and you I have think, the art to share. <laughs> yes, um, I think this is really, mm. this is really, alam mo yung ating Bible, Bible reading, ah, yung gospel na nagsasabi na, Those who have more will receive more in 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 these words, di ba? Di ba? Parang as mula nung nagjoin ako dito sa sa grupo with Father Danny, tapos nakikinig ako dun sa mga reflections ni Father Danny, tapos dito sa sharing natin kay dito mani yung mga nuggets niya, okay? Parang napupuksan balalo ang ang pag-iisip. Ako personally, ang pag-iisip ko such that it becomes easier but to to find the context of things and and then magtahi-tahi ng ah, oo, related ito doon sa yung nangyari noon or sa nabasa noon and so on. And I think this is really what the, the, what Jesus will say. The Holy Spirit. Oo. Mm -hmm. Na kung meron ka ng kapital dyan, like you have already mm -hmm. the seeds of faith. The seed. Mm -hmm. Madadagdagan yan. Madadagdagan yan. So, Jesus. ganun siguro yan. Kaya, I am really praising the Holy Spirit for for doing that to us. We all have to develop the faith first and then nadadagdagan lang siya parang effortless ba na mm -hmm. we open we open our eyes of faith parang ganon then we can see mm -hmm. we can discern amen, amen. true amen. agree tita ko so true tita bells you have the closing prayer okay tita bell thank you tita bells Okay. In the name of the Father, the, the, Son, the, Father, the, the Son, and the Holy, Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Father, bless us as we leave this prayer gathering and help us to, to be a blessing to everyone that we meet and interact with. Help us never to forget that you are with us always. In Jesus' name, we believe and pray. Amen. 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 And glory, glory be to, to the, the Father, Father to the Son, and to the Son, with the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it Spirit was in the beginning, in the beginning is now, is now, and ever shall be, world without, world without amen. end. Amen. amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. amen. Good, good night and good morning, good morning everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Have a blessed day. day. God bless. Have a blessed night. Amen. Yeah. Bye. 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 Thank you.